Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I'll be showing you guys a small thrift slash yard sale haul that I got. Um, last Saturday I went yard sailing with some friends and we also went to a couple thrift stores too. So this is just a small haul of what I got. Um, I got a few decor items, um, some mommy stuff and some kids clothes, some books. So I'm excited to show you guys what I got. Like I said, it's small, so I didn't get a whole lot. I didn't even get out, get what I really needed, but it was still fun. It was nice to get out without the kids. And so, yeah. Anyway, I have a helper with me today. This is Judah. He's my eldest and he is two. And my crazy little two-year-old who I love very much. And he's gonna be helping me today. So we'll see how this goes. But um, anyway, so let's go ahead and let's show you what I got. So first, I'm just gonna show you guys some decor items that I got. And I got this cool little, this cute little glass um, bottle. It's just kind of cool. I think it was like 50 cents. And I thought that was just, that was just too cute to pass up. So I put like some flowers in it, or maybe some baby's breath, um, or a candle or something. Careful, careful with it, please. And so yeah, that was really cheap. Um, but I really like it. I like a lot of glass things um, and things that are, aren't exactly matching, but they'll go with my, my decor. So I got that. And like I said, it was like 50 cents. And then I got this candle, candlesticks, this candlestick set. Now this is like, I have no idea if they're real brass. This is a two bucks for the pair um, at a yard sale, but they look like they're like brass. And um, they're made in India. But anyway, I love antique looking things. This may not be antique, but they definitely look like it. Judah, we don't do that. Mm -hmm. And so um, I just really like it and it goes with a lot of my decor. My decor is old fashioned, Western, um, just like a country themed style. And so I love these and I think they're very cute and they'll go with our house really well. That's all the decor items that I got. Um, I didn't find as much as I had hoped for, but I was able to find a few little cute things. And then I also found these cute, I think they're vintage, but books. They're the Little Golden Books collection. And if anybody doesn't, if you guys don't know what that is, like just look them up. They're an old book set, but um, they're just, they're super cute and I just really like them. I got one with their hymn, their book of hymns for kids. And then there's another yeah, one that's old, yeah, yeah. <laughs> old McDonald had a farm. And no, not yet, Judah, we gotta wait. And so I got those two books for him. Oh, they had a, okay. And so I got those books for about a buck each. And she had, the gal had a ton of other little golden books, but they, some of them I just weren't, didn't really want. So yeah, anyway, those are the only books I got. Um, the next major thing were just clothes and shoes, and then I said some mommy stuff. But um, I got this cute skirt at a thrift store. Um, it's a bit dirty because I wore it, but it's like a blue skirt with these like strings or ribbon around it. And so I kind of liked that, that was pretty. And then I got, I also got some, a, a couple t-shirts for myself or just one t-shirt actually but I needed clothes desperately and so I got this cute hey guys so I'm just gonna I was showing you this cute shirt right well look at what is on it I did not even notice it there's skeleton skulls ew like really how did I not see that oh my gosh I am not keeping the shirt Like, oh my word, I never even saw that. Wow. And I also got this other shirt, it's a little more fancy. And so I really liked that. It's kind of cute, it's got a droop in the back. Um, kind of simple and cute and can wear a tank top underneath it. It's got some sleeves with some open tops to them and a little zipper in the back. And it's just cute. I need some new clothes, and so that was helpful to find a few things. I also got 
also was able to get a pair of jeans. These are like almost like a light, they're gray anyway. Um, and they're a Western type of jean. So they've got these cute pockets. And I love Western jeans. They're a little bit big, but I needed jeans pretty desperately. And so those worked out. Um, so we'll see. I, I'm really into the whole Western look, but in a more simplified version. I don't like bling. Um, I grew up with a mom who kind of likes bling, but um, not me. If there's some jewels on the butt, like these jeans do have, um, that's okay, but I don't like a ton of bling. And so whatever my style, it's simple. Um, so when I say I go country, I don't go all like silver jeweled buckles and you know, flashy jewelry. I just go simple country. And so I'm very much into that. And I mean, I live in the country and it's just practical to wear boots um, in the winter time and or no shoes in the summertime and so I'm very much country oriented. So anyway, so those are all the clothes I got for myself. So again, I didn't get as much as I had hoped. Um, we, we didn't go as far down the valley as we should have and there were all, all, there were more yard sales the farther we went down and it got so hot that we just kind of gave up. So, and then we went to thrift stores, didn't find as much there, but it was still worth our time. So anyway, all right, so next I got some kids clothes. We'll go with Kyla's here first. I got these cute little sandals for when Kyla gets older. They're little girl sandals and they're hobby bear, I guess is what they're called. But I don't know if that's an expensive brand, but they look like they're more expensive um, sandals and they'll be really great for when next year, hopefully next summer. And they were only a dollar at a thrift store. So very much worth it. I will save those for next year. Also got her these, this cute little floral dress. I just thought it was too cute to pass up. It's super soft and it's just so cute. It'll fit her now. So obviously it's summer and she doesn't need a long sleeve dress, but it was just so cute. The clothes were like 50 cents at that yard sale and so it was just it was too cute to pass up and so i got her that it will still fit her in the fall so that'll be really cute i also got her another dress that is long sleeved but it doesn't have to be it's this cute little polka dot dress with a floral shirt underneath and it is so so cute my mother-in-law actually bought me one like this exactly the same when she was a newborn and so it's funny to see that it, it's funny to, you know, find the exact same one in a different size at a yard sale for 50 cents. So very cute. It'll still fit her in the fall and it's actually probably a little bit big right now. So that's perfect. And so she's got some clothes to fit in the fall. And so that's all I got for my daughter. Like I said, I didn't get a whole lot, but those were just a few things that were just too cute and I loved them. So for my son, I got him a pair of jean shorts. These were so cute. I think these were also 50 cents um, at a garage sale and they were just so cute and he needs some jean shorts. So I decided to go ahead and get him these. They seem to be very um, durable and they're not like the cheap jean. They're more of an expensive jean or at least higher quality jean. And so those will fit him for a while and probably more children to come. So that's what I got him. And then I also got him two shirts, but I got him this cute orange, blue, and brown um, button-up tee. And it is so cute. I love orange, for those of you who don't know, I it's my favorite color. And so anytime I can get something orange, I will definitely, most likely purchase it if it's within my budget. But I think this was also 50 cents at that same garage sale that I got the shorts. And it's just cute. And this is a size three, so are the shorts. Pretty much, yeah, everything I got him were a size three, um, which he's already in, which is crazy. I cannot believe it. But anyway, this is just super cute. He can wear it in the summer to church. And so he's not super hot and long sleeved. And so it's very breathable and it's nice. So I also got him a long sleeve shirt. He doesn't have a whole lot of these anymore. Most of them are too small for him. So this will fit him in the fall and it'll fit him now, but this is also a size three and it's super cute. It's like brown and striped and it just looks all boy and I love it. 
so he can wear that when it starts to get cold outside and it'll keep him very warm. I love that it's not, doesn't have anything written on the front of it. I'm really into plain, simple clothes. Um, I don't like flashy, I don't like things that's, uh, all my kids anyway, that say cutesy things. Um, occasionally I do. Um, there's a few things that my daughter and my son have, like cute sayings. I think those are fine. It's just when it's like a skeleton on the shirt or like a fairy princess. Um, I'm not really into that. If it's a cute saying, if it's a cute saying, I'll go for it. But if it's something more like a character in a cartoon, I'm not really into that. So cute sayings are fine. Just I'm not really into the whole animated graphics on tees and shirts. But anyway, so that's what I got for my kids really simple um, and hopefully I'll be going like every other week to yard sales and I'll find more which will be really helpful. So the next thing I got were these cute pistol earrings. Um, actually a gal locally made them so um, so go support your local businesses. She's a small business selling jewelry. It was actually in the shop that uh, one of the thrift stores she actually runs and she was selling her homemade jewelry. So um, it's really cute friends. I, I went garage sailing with friends and we, two of us bought some pistol earrings. So they're really cute and I really like the style. Um, they're just, they're fun and they definitely go with um, my Western, <clears throat> my Western style. So, and they're simple, they're not blingy, they're just cute. So I really liked those. And they were only $4, so fairly cheap. And then the next thing I purchased were some mommy maternity and um, postpartum things. So I got these really cute maternity jean, uh, pants. They're like those, they're not jeans, they're, um, I don't remember what the material is called, but they're really cute comfy pants. And they've got the belly band on them, so nice and comfy. Um, I'm just, and they're long pants, they're not cropped, but you can crop them. And so that's kind of cool. They've got little strings down below that you can tie up and just, you can, you know, make them really cute. They're those comfortable pants that you can just wear with whatever. Um, and they're especially nice when you're pregnant in the summer because they're nice and cool. But I got these for like $2 and maternity wear, as most of you I'm, I'm sure know, um, maternity wear is really expensive. So these were two bucks. They're used, but they're well worth, but they still have a ton of life in them. So those will be nice next time I'm pregnant. I am not pregnant, but I like to stock up on my maternity stuff because maternity wear is expensive. And most of the time I actually just turn large clothes that don't fit me in regular size into maternity clothes because sometimes it's cheaper. But anyway, next thing I got for maternity slash postpartum is this nursing bra. It was really cool because it comes like it has a crisscross in the front and that is the only way to breastfeed your children honestly in the first few weeks um, after having a baby and so they're just awesome when you're at night and you have you know your it's maybe a little too mine but when your boobs are huge and full of milk um, it really does help a lot to just keep them secure and it just it makes it easy so you don't have to unclip things and clip them back on. It's just simple, pull it down and feed your baby. So anyway, it looks really comfortable. It's super soft and it the band is very stretchy. It doesn't um, seem like it would pinch or anything. So it looks very comfortable. So I'm excited to try that next time I have a baby. Um, so that, and then the last thing uh, that I got and the last mommy slash postpartum item was a silicone breast pump. Now, if any of you have seen my uh, breastfeeding essentials video, you know that I already have a Haka, which is great, but I could not pass this up. This was $2 at a garage sale. It really doesn't look like it had been used at all. Um, so it's just kind of cool. I really like these. And so having an extra, extra one on hand for maybe the diaper bag um, would be great for when I nurse my next baby, whenever that is. So um, yeah, anyway, it was really cool for $2 I got this. This is not a Hakka brand, it is a Bumblebee brand, which I believe is also really good, um, also a really good 
brand. And it had, it comes with, like I said before, it comes with a silicone stopper um, and a PP cap set. So it has a cap on it and then it has a little silicone stopper in it. And, but these are just really cool. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like a video on how to use these um, and any other info uh, on what these are and how to use them. I'd love to make a video about that, but um, so let me know in the comment section if you'd be interested in that. So anyway, so that is my small little garage sale, yard sale haul slash thrift store haul. And so I had it, it was really nice to get out with some friends without the kids and just walk around and look for stuff and just have a good time. I didn't find much, but it was still fun. And so that's my little haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. So I will see you guys next time. Have a great one. Bye.